Hey everybody, it's Troy Stein. I want to talk you through in the next 10 minutes, maybe less, uh, how you can record your lessons for remote teaching. So let's jump into it. In PowerPoint, let's assume that you're going to start there. If not, it's not that much more difficult to explain somebody a math application or a science application or to talk somebody through, um, what do I know, a history website. We're just going to use PowerPoint because it's a thing that we need to communicate to other people. PowerPoint does have at least one specific thing, right? When I go to uh, show my screen, my screen normally goes, and it gets really big, which is unfortunate because if you're trying to record PowerPoint with another application, you kind of want to be able to see both of those things. So here's what you do. Uh, with PowerPoint, uh, just get it big enough uh, so that you can see a tab here called Slideshow. Go to Set Up slideshow click on that and then there's an option for browse by an individual window and click OK to that and then when it's time to actually start your slideshow well there's something for that too uh, there's a button here for uh, from the beginning so we'll click OK and that's going to open up the slideshow you're not recording it's just got the slides open in a window by the way that you can move around if you want but you can also tell even just by looking at it right now that um, you got the slides kind of in the middle and then like these black bars on the side like oh, my, eh, probably unnecessary so um, here's what I do uh, take the edge of it and just slide it across until you're kind of done with the black bars and if you want to make it a little bit bigger you can grab a corner but honestly we're not really going for full screen here your kids are gonna understand it just fine right don't stress out too much you just want you know two-thirds three-quarters of the screen it's gonna be great okay cool now we're ready to uh, start our our lecture if you will but first uh, let's start with a recorder uh, so I'm gonna click on uh, Camtasia 2019 uh, which installed on my Windows machine here by the way if things get a little bit slow or jittery it's because I'm going to be making a recording with Camtasia 2019 and on my same computer I'm recording that recording so I can show it to you um, yeah kind of like an inception type moment here for us both uh, but uh, Camtasia is going to start up and one of the options it will say is do you want to start a new project yeah let's start a new project that sounds like a good idea here so uh, we're gonna say new project thank you very much and uh, we'll hit uh, record because we're gonna start a recording session here for us uh, let me bring this down a little bit whoops there we go sorry I got my recorder in the way okay so um, we can record full screen, but we don't need to. We're going to record uh, just a portion of the screen. So if I click custom, uh, it is going to give me these uh, green dots, and I'll just sort of move them around until I got my area pretty well uh, squared away there. Uh, the other option that I have here is I can record my camera, which, sure, let's go for it. Um, but if you don't want to, don't do it. Um, the only thing you really do need to do is audio. So uh, let's make sure that we've got your microphone on and selected. And uh, if you do have a USB microphone, let's go with that. Uh, otherwise, use what you got, right? Even if it's not perfect, Camtasia will still get your volumes up as good as it can get. Uh, that being said, let's do a test recording just to make sure, um, because who knows? Uh, so let's uh, let's go a three, two, one. Hi, this is Troy. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now down over here on the uh, bottom of your tray, there is a red icon here, and I can right click and I can hit stop. And once again, we are just really worried about uh, about the audio. I can play this one back. Hi, this is Troy, testing one, two, three. Very good, good enough, okay. That's working for me. Uh, I'm not worried about where, about anything at this point other than just, did it sound okay? Great, uh, I'm gonna delete a little bit. Uh, I click that to uh, highlight it. I click it to highlight it in yellow, which means it's active, delete, and in fact, I can even get rid of the video that's in the media bin. So the whole recording, boop, gone. That was just a test recording anyways, it's fine, good. All right, record. We're getting real close here, folks. Um, let's just drag this uh, right back to where it was before. Uh, I can move the PowerPoint slide. Um, and if I want to, I can also bring the edges and just sort of trim it in just a little bit. Okay, ready to go for real. Hitting the record, three, two, one. Actually, now three, two, one. 
Hi, everybody. Let's talk about the Milky Way galaxy. It is often thought that the Milky Way galaxy is something outside of our solar system. Blah, 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 blah. I keep going. I walk through the slides. Two, three, four, do whatever it is that I need to do. And when I'm done, if I don't see the Camtasia icon down here below, I click on this little uh, triangle. And then I can see the Camtasia icon with a right click. I get to see stop and I am going to stop my recording. At this point, we can put away our slides, we are done with them, and we have our video here. Now, it is possible uh, that maybe you need to make some edits. Let me just show you how to make a couple of simple ones. I don't recall, or excuse me, I don't recommend doing big heavy ones because they're your students. They like you. They appreciate any effort you're doing. So don't worry about adding text and callouts and animations. Do that in your summertime and figure out how to uh, how to do some of the awesomeness that is in Camtasia. But for now, let's just say at the end, let's say it took me a minute to figure out how to stop my recording. Um, and maybe I realize as I see myself moving around on the screen um, that uh, it was just about here where I really was done. Uh, there's something you can do. Uh, I can hit this split button here or just the, the letter S and it kind of um, makes a couple of little clips here. I can uh, select it. You can see that it's yellow. I'll hit delete uh, and delete. Alternatively, uh, I can also just drag the edge one way or the other. And if I ever make a mistake, um, Control Z uh, for undo is my friend, and it brings everything back the way it was. Last thing I, I just want to point out, you can see right here, uh, because of where my monitor was, that I'm kind of, I don't know, looking off into nowhere? Uh, what the heck am I doing? Um, so uh, with me selected, this top track is the camera track. Uh, I'm going to bring, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Um, obviously, I clicked the handlebar. Remember what I told you? Control Z is your friend. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm going to move me up over here to the left hand side and right here um, by clicking on the screen recording. It's going to give me the handlebars for the uh, PowerPoint stuff. And uh, I'm going to just kind of overlay it just about like that as if I'm like looking down from above. OK. Uh, so good enough. This is solid. Like I said, if you want to learn how to make some fancy sauce out of this go for it. Uh, we have in the help menu uh, a bunch of video tutorials about all kinds of topics. So feel free to uh, go and get it. But uh, for now, let's just do, uh, let's save this as a, a project name. Uh, we're going to put this one just for simplicity's sake. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call this project. Um, I'm going to call this one uh, the stars. Um, and I'll hit save. And it's going to save the project on my desktop. Now, here's the thing. You don't want to uh, share the project. That's not what you need. You actually need to get the the video out. And that video is called an MP4 file. Uh, the best and most uh, straightforward way, maybe not straightforward, but it's uh, the one that will work all the time, is I'm going to go to a local file. And I'm going to choose from here an option called MP4 only. You remember MP3 for audio? MP4 is the same thing, it's just for videos. Like everybody can watch it, everybody gets it, especially YouTube, which is where we're gonna go. And I'm gonna hit, uh, except I'm gonna change that because like I said, uh, for simplicity's sake, we're gonna put that on the desktop. So stars.mp4 is going to go to the desktop. Now you may have a place where you want to put this file. Maybe there is um, a, a video hosting site that your uh, school has you putting all your content, if so, knock yourself out. Um, but if not, um, then I recommend for relative simplicity and, and success with the students uh, that we're going to go to YouTube and uh, we're going to log in over here. Sorry, I'm not sure why the stuff. How do you want to open the file? Oh, it's asking me if I want to open that file, um, which I don't right now. I want to go and create a video. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to upload that video getting close to 10 minutes and I'll hit select file and I'm on my desktop I now have a folder called stars and a video called stars and that video is now on its way of uploading when I uh, I get a chance to put a name and a description in there I highly recommend it 
I get to say that it's made for kids. I say next. And uh, last couple things that you're going to do on here is you're going to decide whether or not to make this public for the rest of the world to see or unlisted, which means I'm just going to use this link here and I'm only going to send it to my kids. Uh, either way, uh, we're going to hit save. It is going to upload that video. I've got a link here that I can send out to my kids. Boom, we're in and out in 10 minutes. I hope this was worth your time. If you are spending your time trying to teach my kids and your kids and other people's kids, God bless you. Be safe. Uh, thank you for all you do for us. And best of luck with Camtasia.